assalamu alaikum students in this lesson we will discuss different form of quadratic equations this is unit number 4 solution of equation d mathematics before uh, uh, we will discuss the different form we must understand what is a quadratic equation in the previous lesson we have discussed uh, linear equation as y is equal to 2x plus 1 we call it linear equation because the highest power or exponent of x is equal to 1 but if it is increased 2x square then we call it quadratic equation and right now i write i wrote a, a single term quadratic equation y is equal to 2 raised 2 times x square <coughs> it could be a three two terms was a three x square plus five x two terms quadratic equation and the highest power is two now it can be a, a three term equation so y is equal to four x square plus five x minus six so in all these three equation if you observe the highest power of x is equal to 2 if it is not 2 less than 2 for example like 1 it is a linear equation and it's a greater than 2 then the name of equation depends upon the power uh, value of power or value of exponent let us discuss different form of quadratic equation the first form we call it the standard form and uh, you are I hope you are very much familiar with it so y is equal to 3x square plus 4x minus 7 so there are three terms in standard form x square then the power reduced 1 then there is a constant term and we can write in general form so y is equal to ax square plus bx plus c b can be 0 c can be 0 but a cannot be 0 a cannot be 0 because once a is 0 then what will happen it will become a linear equation so that's why for quadratic equation a cannot be 0 so this is called a uh, standard form factor form or factorized form in your previous chapter you have learned how to factorize a quadratic equation for example y is equal to 3x plus 4 and x minus 7 so this is called factor form because it is factorized so if you want to write in a general form of factorization so y is equal to a x plus m and x minus n so these are this is called a factorized form or a factor form vertex form in your previous chapter we discuss how to convert a quadratic general form into a complete square form so when we write it in the complete square form we call it a factors uh, vertex form for example y is equal to 3 x minus 4 whole square plus 5 so this is a complete square form and this is a a uh, way of identifying this is a vector vertex form if you want to write in a general vector vertex form so y is equal to a x minus h whole square plus k so we will apply these different form of quadratic equation in upcoming lessons and exercises